Alrighty, Zai here, bringing you a 4-on-4. Four four. It's been a long time, I apologize, but I uh, haven't been playing a lot of 4-on-4s, four and I don't feel like I'm that good at 1-on-1, one -on -one, so I don't want to cast those. So you got me, our random partner, John Stomp, Viler Koic, who said weird team, and Zai, who's Terran, random. Uh, all random, all with the same icon, one orb impersonator, one eSports. Turns out this is a real orb and eSports, and I already cast this game, and then I found out that there's a thread on Reddit about Psy being bad manner and stuff. So I decided to recast it, and yeah, based on some of the stuff I said, Psy's not bad manner, but four on fours, especially at like one in the morning, we just like to screw around. Hopefully nobody takes it personally, and if they do, they can make uh, threats about us. Either way, we got eSports, Orb, Terran, Moonpizerg, the Mango, Terran. Uh, Moonpai kind of forgot to get, he was AFK like the first, I don't know, like 15, 20 seconds of the game. Not huge, but it sets you behind a little bit. Uh, damn it, I always hit P for production. It's D. Um, where is it? U, Nud. N, U, and D, those are the good ones. So yeah, he's at 10 drones, the other Zerg's at 13, 14. Not a huge fall behind, but enough for something a little. So yeah. That's the setup for this game. Gotta use my hotkeys. Done. Okay. Um, yeah, back to the actual game. Stomp going pretty standard build. Gateway first. I'm quick expanding the high yield. I didn't realize that these guys were legitimate players. Usually when we're slightly favored, we just stomp all over people. So I was gonna take lots of expansions and just feed the other three for fun. You will soon see that might change because, yeah, these guys were actually pretty good. That's why I didn't cast four before game for a while because didn't really have any good games. Either we steamrolled people or we lost to a tier one all in. Like, yeah. Anyway, I saw cannons here. My overlord, even after I saw cannons, my overlord runs right into it. Luckily he doesn't die. And that's one big thing about this 4v4. Do we know they have a Zerg? We don't know they have a Zerg yet, but wait one second here. Um, I thought it was coming. Either way, with, yeah, $50 says Zerg feed. We don't even know there's a Zerg. I don't know if that guy chose or is random. Either way, uh, when you see especially good players cannoning in their front, they're typically feeding Zerg. Like, people, good players don't can in their front unless they're Zerg feeding. And I say I'm going to counter their feed with a feed, and I have high yield with queens coming. Spawning pool, a couple gases so I can feed gas, good saturation. If they tier one rush, could be trouble, but like, I don't know. They aren't going to and they're going cannons. Orange going pretty quick DTs, won't be able to get past these cannons, but we will take care of that later. And that, there's three main points I want to get to with this video. One. Zerg feed, really powerful strategy if you're not ready for it. I mean, he's already getting a lair. He's going to have mad bank when his teammates start feeding him. He's got no saturation, but he doesn't need it. Um, and you can guess when that's coming when you see this. In that case, if you're an AT, just have one person feed gas to your Protoss, like a Terran who masses Marines. Have him feed gas to a Protoss. Just get three Stargate Phoenix, and you can slaughter the Muta feed build. Uh, two, exploit overlords with Protoss. I'm hanging out right here, but once my ally gets DTs, I'm going to move up so that he can warp in men up the ledge, and that will bypass these cannons here. Pretty cool trick. And I'll show you a third one later. Also, this 4v4 is awesome because Echoic, who is my new hero because of his Hellion build, he's got a Hellion build even though he's choosing not to train units right now. It's like the coolest Hellion build ever, and it dominates fours. He has five or six, and size betting money again. He has five or six Hellions by the time most tier one rushes come, which slaughters El slaughters Zerglings, do pretty well against Marines. The only thing it doesn't do well against is Marauder Stalkers, and hopefully one of your allies can deal with those. But you guys need to like copy his Hellion build if you're gonna do fours, and you'll kill a lot of shit. This game kinda hurts, cause he, they do a double wall off, so he's going to be transitioning, there you go, starport so that he can do drops, and he lost one there, whoops. But, you know, whatever. I'm getting five uh, spine crawlers, 
seeing. Oh, no, he's killing his forge. What the hell? I don't know why he's doing that. Either way, seeing his cannons, I probably didn't need to get five spines, but you hate to lose a high yield, and I've got minerals because I have a high yield so early. So, yeah, whatever. I got some spines. Not feeding anybody yet because I don't have enough money. John Stomp says it's over. Spire coming in. Six, uh, 14 mutas. That's a lot of freaking mutas seven and a half minutes into the game, and they're just about done. So that's going to be trouble. John has DTs coming in, but he's getting owned by probes. Like, uh, he almost kills his cannon, but when he saw all these probes coming in for this round, he should have just come in and killed the pylon. Oh, crap. I missed an awesome uh, Banshee harass by Psy. There's, yeah, two harasses going on at once. He brought Banshees in, he killed the one trying to build this turret like six times. Pretty good, got some SCVs. Now he's trying to get other Banshees out of here. Echoic is getting turrets, but this is just a lot of units. This is why this strategy is so powerful. One thing, if you are gonna try the strategy, we never do the feed strategy. I am not really a fan of it. And that's where the minor VM comes in this game. But if you're gonna do the feed strategy, you need to kill two opponents with Mutas, because your allies are doing nothing. So he needs to pretty much cripple two of us for them to have a good shot at winning the game. So far, he hasn't killed anyone. Well, okay. Now Echoic's getting beat up pretty bad. But Echoic's got an expansion. Orb's got an expansion. He's not using it. He's got some energy. I'm, he's feeding. I'm not sure what he's doing. Um, and even though Echoic's dead and more mutas, we're up to 17 mutas are coming in. Uh, he's, he's gonna go do some Helling Harass, that could be good. I'm getting eight spores here, seven spores here. Psy has five turrets, pretty nice. When you're getting turrets against mass mutas, you want to have them grouped, because if they're spread out, like a Kogsor, the mutas will just kind of kill them one at a time. If they're grouped up, they can do some significant damage to the mutas, and it makes the repair range easier. And our ally is just getting Blink Stalkers. He doesn't have Blink yet, but he will soon. Ikoke losing his expansion. Most of the action in this game is going to be around these 17 mutas. Zealot's getting warped in, but there's three cannons. He could still maybe kill that pylon, but I what? he's just attacking. Whatever. That failed. So I want mins. I believe I fed him some mins because I had a bunch. Now here's one thing you got to remember. 17 mutas against 7 stalkers. That's pretty one-sided for the Mutas, but he's choosing to ignore the Stalkers. I, I think he should have gone in, just killed the Stalkers one at a time, taken out the Pylons, and then he only... I mean, you lose a few Mutas, but the Toss is basically gone. Instead, he's just skirting around not doing enough. Oh. Yeah, now here comes whatever the BM. Uh, where is the, where's the chat at? Uh... I can out ha oh, <laughs> it coaxed said, how are you guys? Blue with Muta says, pretty good, how about you? And yeah, um, now we're just discussing. At this point, they think we're in trouble. I, I don't know. Either way, Orange got his pros back, didn't lose that much. I have three bases now. I lost a Spore Colony. This guy lost some of his Mutas though, so whatever. Let's look at the, nope, not production tab. I want NU. Unit tab, 30 mutas. That's a lot of fucking mutas. But he needs to get them together because mutas you want in a giant ball. And he lost one right there. So yeah, I have eight spore crawlers. I feel like this base is good. And I'm getting a spire. I'm gonna try and counter his mutas with my mutas. I won't be able to get as many as him even though I'm on three, kind of four base. But I will have allies. So these stalkers are gonna do a little bit of damage, kill off some of his mutas, weaken some others. Sai is getting a nice anti-muta force. This is a point in the game where they need to transition to something besides just mutas. Um, and it's not really happening. They're still just feeding mutas. But we're, we're getting ready to hard counter. And mutas are awesome, but they can be countered by a marine stalker or Viking and muta. Like, we can do a pretty good job on that. And once we start spreading out our harass, this guy can't. Like, if I'm harassing here, Coke's harassing top left, he can't attack and defend two harasses at once. So they need to get their allies into it. Not happening yet, as I already said. And here's what I'm talking about with the harasses. Size coming in, bunch of marines, bunch of vikings. Might not be able to beat the Muta Force, but can do some damage to it. 
Orange kind of getting the shit kicked out of him. He's got an expansion, so if he can keep his probes alive, he's okay. And here I'm coming in. I focus the pylon, because I'm not going to try and kill three cannons. And now before the next pylon comes in, I will kill the cannons. I've got uh, 16 mutas, so that's a pretty decent number there. And not I see these mutas coming back. Not going to have time to kill the Nexus, so I'm going to go try and kill as many workers as I can to slow down the feed. I mean, I've got six gas myself. So if I can cripple one or two of these guys, they won't be able to give gas to their allies. At the same time, Sai's coming in and killing an expansion. And the best part about me is, like, my attack. This guy has to leave his harass on us, and he's not going to kill that much because I uh, am just as fast as he is. Sai's still bringing his forces here at Coax, hanging out with a couple, uh, yeah, Hellions. And I screw up here. I must have been macroing. I should have come back and helped Sai. We would have been able to tear this apart but I didn't. As it is, look at that, Marines just look so good against Mutas. This is why they need, needed to transition and get like Marines of their own or something. Or, I don't know, even tanks. So Sai's coming in doing tons of damage. I've got loads of Mutas somewhere. Here we go, I don't know why I flew all the way down there. Uh, but yeah, kills Orbs expansion. Echoic has been harassing, I don't really know. Can't keep track of him. He's having fun though. Uh, Moon Pie still got 20, uh, 21, 20, 19. A lot of mutas, but a lot of weak mutas. So you look at, what, six in the red, five in the orange. So even though he's got me, no, I've got him outnumbered and out of HP. He's got one upgrade, but that won't turn the difference. So big fight here. Advantage Zai. And even if we both lose our armies, my allies have armies, his allies do not. So this is a significant loss for them. East, <laughs> Vile bringing in some Hellions. I like it. And I don't know. I don't think this is a bad manner. I just said I have more. And then I said I have more. And now we're doing another fight here. I have him outnumbered this fight too, so I'm not sure why he rallied in. But he tricked me and I ran, even though it's five on three and he had a weak one. Not sure what I was doing. Uh, Sai, this is what they said is bad manner. Sai saying original scraps dude. I don't know. I don't I don't think that's really that bad. Echoic, Echoic loves killing SCVs in fours. Every game we play, he makes sure to tell us that he killed four or five hundred SCVs. But that's because Blue Flame Hellions are awesome. Um, I'm sitting on like 5k men, so I decided to give 1200 to all my allies. I didn't get lings or anything this game, which you kind of need to do a Zerg if you want to spend your minerals, because they just had wall, wall, and I wanted to micro my mutas. So I should have been feeding my allies money sooner. Especially since I'm on three base fully saturated and this third, fourth one, kinda. Sai is uh, getting stuff now. I just gave him 1100 minerals, he's down to five, so he's spending a lot better than me. It coaxed up to 2000, and our ally is actually getting back into it, uh, getting a new expansion and stuff, so mineral feeding is good if you have it. What's Blue guy? He's got a lot of minerals, no gas. His allies are both out of the game. Esports said we're pro. Sai said yeah, it shows. He said yeah. Uh, it's all in good fun. Orb calls down seven mules. The code said 12, but it was only seven. And kills them all. That's really awesome. And Orb has to fly away again with seven less mules. Uh, oh, shit. Big fight over here. Sai got beat up. He did some damage, though. His Marines had better upgrades, but he was heavily outnumbered. He killed some Marines, though, and he forced the others to stem. So, you know, that's... Uh, almost 20% of their life for all of these. They're gonna come uh, come try and kill all my Expos because letting one player have three golds is not good for their health. Uh, my Spines are poking away at them. Spines do what? 25? So yeah, they two-shot Marines instead of three thanks to those stems. But it's not enough. They're gonna Marines and yeah, those five Spines weren't the best best. Player. I ask if anyone can take those Marines. My ally probably can't. Marines and Zerglings and see Stalkers. Well, if he walks in, he'll probably be Either way. Mutas coming in, too. Not really doing that much. The Mutas and Marines needed to go together with the Lynx to be effective. But, yeah, John's not being a one-man wrecking crew right now. Let's see his Blink Micro. Yeah, pretty good. By the way, you see the mini-map. Oh, yeah, I just flew and killed both these buildings. They weren't really mining off them anyway. And now I'm up top killing this stuff. Gonna take out that Spire. 
I've got a ball of 30 mutas even. I now have one attack upgrade. Uh, John stopped. Oh, reinforced. He won that fight. Back over here, killing some Marines. Now that's a little too many Marines. Even numbers, like I might have won, but I would not have been cost efficient. Plus, I'll just let his stim run out, and he will be less life. So I could maybe go back now. Choosing not to, though. Uh, apparently Hawk wants something. I don't know who Hawk is or what he wants, but I'm assuming he has something to do with Vile. Psy has just as big a marine army as Red has almost, although Red... Red, holy shit. Blue must have fed Red or something. He's got 3,800 minerals, 1,600 gas. He needs to get two engineering bays. Does he have two? No. He needs... yeah, he needs medevacs, engineering bays. There's his factory coming. So he's getting ready to tech up with about 10 racks. Gee, I didn't know he was that rich. Otherwise, I started screwing around. Like, I, my spire died, and I didn't rebuild it until just now getting my lair. But I'm killing useless shit. I'm, I'm having fun. I keep myself occupied. Oh, what else we got going on? Size 1-1 one, one Marines. Is he getting upgrades? There's one, and... Oh, what? I can just go to production tab. Can't. Damn it. Hit pause again. Uh, yeah, size getting both his upgrades. Red is only getting armor. And 10 marines at a time. So that's pretty cool. Once these reactors get done, he'll be training 20 marines at a time. Sai's losing his uh, expansion. And this is just how good marines are. Even 22 minutes into a 4v4, marines counter everything. There's like no hard counter for marines unless you have like godly fungal micro with ultras or something. Like, it's crazy how good they are. However, Sai has more. Uh, we have Thors, we have Mutas. Marines are good, but uh, they can't counter an army like nine times or something. So we are wrapping things up here. I don't know, like I said, I don't feel like there's that much PM other than Sai pointing out that the strategy was not original. Kinda. I mean, it's a 4v4 version of Cheese. So, and if you get cannon rush, you're probably going to to someone that's dumb. Whatever. Size a lovely person. He saved a death kick from being beaten by wild tigers. So I don't know how you can get much cooler than that. And uh, I tell him to go ahead and kill my base. And he leaves. So I'm pretty sure we were going to lose this game until I taunted him with killing my bases. Once he realized I cared so little about my own drones, he knew it was just time to go. And so I said, defensive GGG, learn your strap, please. And then they all leave. Even though these Marines were definitely going to kill some more stuff. I would have killed more stuff before leaving. Just saying. That's the game. Good 4v4. To recap things while I go to my score screen. Um, yeah, when you see someone... It, bad players might just cannon. But even most bad players don't just cannon for fun. So when you see a good player cannoning, uh, get ready for a Muta feed or some kind of feed. Typically it's going to be Mutas. And Dark... Oh, dude, first gotta look at my awesome 1v1. Five wins in a row. 4v4, we did lose the game, but eh, we'll take a four in one session. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Use, for Dark Templar Warpens, use Overlords on those big maps. And the third thing is, if you're Terran, try and steal a Coex Hellion build. I'm gonna regret that, because I'm gonna run into that someday now. But a Coex Hellion build is just fucking sweet. Do it. Ah, uh, yeah, Moon Pie got fed resources but I matched it myself without getting fed so that's pretty cool mango got fed uh, and your resource score I'm pretty sure when you get donated counts so like I wonder if you could jack up a resource score just by sending back and forward be something worth testing either way mango did pretty well with his mass marine strategy after not even doing anything at the beginning so that's just how good marines are but orb and esports just kind of fed a little bit and then died Whereas all three of my allies were pretty effective, even when they got harassed. So, you know, I mean, two, four, five, six, better than one, three, seven, eight, I guess, maybe, in this case. That's all. I love you. And, oh. So I wanted you guys to know penis, 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 but I'm on busy. And Arun wants to say hello, Chapin, and Relax wants to say I'm a veteran. I don't know what I'm a veteran of, but... Just let those guys know that I do read what you sent me. Bye!